Well, hello everyone, it's Rose, and I'm back with another video unboxing a diamond painting from the AliExpress 1111 sale. So um, this box had multiple diamond paintings in it. Uh, I'm opening the last one now, so I can now toss the wrapping, and I'll be able to get rid of the box in a moment. And so uh, they were all wrapped around uh, each other in here and all the drills were in there, and the toolkits and so forth. So this is the third of the diamond paintings that were in this box. And I think I saved the best for last, although they were all pretty awesome, but this one was pretty special. All right, so uh, I, I won't spend a lot of time on this, but some of you do like to know what comes with a diamond painting order. So this kit has a single placer, wax, a green boat with an opening, and uh, plastic baggies. There, oh, there's a bent nose tweezers as well. Um, so my preference is for the boats that don't have an opening, the green boats that uh, sit inside of each other's. These don't nest, but I'll take what they send me. And then we have the beautiful drills, and I'll show you the image. This is the image. And this is supposed to be 50 by 50. I have no reason to think it's not going to be 50 by 50 because all of the other ones were exactly to the size from the Cuff W key store. But I leave nothing to chance. You know that. So I'm going to measure it. And can you see it all? Let's see. I will zoom out a little bit. There, now you can see it all. This is my bag of oh, kits. One could call it my kit bag. And this is for all of the um, tool kits that I get during, well, for the diamond paintings that I bought during the 11.11 sale. So I don't want to get too much in the picture here. So this is the edge of the drill area right here. I can see it through the paper. And okay, so this one is 49 and a half. So I will say that that is 50 because I always round um, up or down based on uh, the four or five rule. And this one is almost 50 and a half. So I got, I got the, the square centimeters, uh, just it's half a centimeter off uh, on each of the, this one's a little bit. It's a little bit uh, higher than I expected and a little less wide than I expected. So I'm happy with that. Uh, for those of you looking for the item number, this is item number JX77826. And I call this one the abstract goddess. All right, so let's pull back. Uh, first, let's find out where the adhesive Okay, the adhesive runs sideways on this. I'll turn it this way. Okay. Uh, oops. Uh, do I want to do this? No, I don't. I want to. Yeah, I do. I want to do this. I was just trying to figure out which way I want to pull it so that um, the paper is out of your view when I'm finished. Oops, sorry about that. I didn't mean to put my head right in the shot. All right. So I decided during the 11-11 sale, and I mean, I didn't do it consistently, but I've started getting a little freaked out about how many really large diamond paintings I have. So I'm trying to order smaller diamond paintings. So for me, 50 by 50 is on the small end of diamond paintings, uh, like full full diamond paintings. Special, uh, special shapes, of course, are different. But yeah, there we go. Okay, let me, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. I might raise you up so that you can see the top and bottom. Whoop. All right, so there, that is the abstract goddess. And so we've got the goddess's face up here and then just some really beautiful 
colorful stuff happening all around her. It's kind of like a mandala, but not really. I mean, there's a big butterfly in the center. Um, and the colors are just beautiful. So I really like this. And it's also got the built-in frame around it, which I love diamond paintings that have a built-in diamond painted frame. So, um, or mat or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, I love that. So when I saw this, there was no question. I had to get it. So let's uh, just zoom in a little bit so that you can see some of the detail. Whoops. Okay, I didn't like that. <laughs> that was my phone falling out of the cradle and landing flat on the diamond painting. <laughs> oh well. Okay, um, no harm done to the phone apparently, which is good. Um, and no harm done to the diamond painting, which is also good. But in this case, I'm much more concerned about the phone. Um, okay, so there we go. Um, I'm going to take you out of the cradle and I'm going to bring you down and show you the legend and the drill area. And then we will do inventory on the drills. So here is the image. I'm going to zoom out a little bit because that's just too shaky. Um, here is the image as it's going to appear. I think it's really lovely. And then let's take a look at the symbols. So far, I'm not seeing anything that concerns me. Yep. Looks good. Looks good. Yeah, there's an S and a 5. So here we have the S. Oops. Fingers getting stuck to it. Here we have the 5. Whoop. Okay, let's find the 5. Ah, there we go. Um, and they're different enough colors that I, I don't think I'm going to be confused about those. We have a P. I'm just looking to see if we have an R. Because sometimes if the printing's not perfectly clear, it's hard to distinguish those. I don't see anything that's going to be a problem. So here's what the canvas looks like. As per usual with Cuff W key, the printing is very, very clear. Cuff W key diamonds fit perfectly onto the canvas, so uh, I'm not going to be worried about any gapping or anything like that, which unfortunately is something that I've been noticing in some diamond painting uh, companies. They, they uh, avoid having popping drills by making their diamonds just a wee bit smaller. And so then you get gapping in between the drills, and I don't like the look of that, but, you know, I mean, the painting still looks good at the end of it, but, yeah. Um, but, yeah, it, it, I don't like the close-up view of gap drills. I also don't like popping drills, um, because that's just horrible from beginning to end, and you, I never like the finished diamond painting as, mel as much when I've seen popping drills. Uh, this here is just something that um, must have been stuck to my phone when it, uh, some lint or something that was stuck to my phone when, when it fell on the diamond painting. Um, yeah, so, okay, so there we go. It's, uh, it looks really good. Looks like the colors are going to be super bright. Love it. All right, so I am going to adjust the camera and make sure it's not gonna fall out of the holder. And um, the next thing you see will be the drills on the back of this canvas. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is count to see how many colors there are. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 
25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. I'm just going to count that again for me, not for the camera. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. Yeah, okay. All right, so 38 colors. And now we're going to do the inventory. Check out these colors. Oh my goodness. These colors are awesome. That's why I picked this diamond painting. Okay, let's go. Finish the inventory. Let's just go through the list. I have everything, the right number. These bags are very full, is one of the things that I noticed as I was going through. And um, I paid particular attention to the quality of the drills. And I spent quite a lot of time looking at pretty much every single bag of the 310s. Uh, and the drills look perfect. The bottoms look absolutely flat. Here, I'll just pick out a color at random. Um, I'm going to zoom way in on this. Okay, let's see. Okay, hold on. I just wanted to... All right, I think that might be the best I can do. Um, but 
the bottoms are oh this these ones have tiny tiny little dimples in them this is the first color that I noticed that had any dimples in it all the others were absolutely flat there are no little bits hanging off no hang no melty feet as I call them uh, no little tabs where one drill was separated from another uh, let's take a look at an orange one uh, so here we have some more and again no there are no divots on the bottom here no dimples or whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah they're they're flat um, these are even flatter so these little orange ones they had I wouldn't call them dimples they were I don't know if you can see, I don't know if you can see that the light the ambient light here is such that my screen is almost black because it's too bright in here um, so I can't see necessarily how it's going to look to you but I can see just a teeny tiny little something it's not really a dimple here I can see that they are not dimpled they are flat um, the 902s that I'm looking at here also flat and like the edges are so sharp so there's not going to be uh, these are going to fit perfectly on the canvas um, and that's what I have experienced with every Cuff W key canvas that I've ever had um, I think maybe there were one maybe two colors in my last big one that I did that um, the diamonds were some of the diamonds uh, had um, just tiny little divots in the side, tiny, tiny little divots in the side. I haven't seen any of that here. And so the size of those diamonds as a whole were a little bit smaller, um, but that was like one color in a, I think a 50 or 60 color diamond painting. And it wasn't all of the drills. It was just a very few of the drills. So I just got rid of those. Um, so I have always been super happy with the drills that I get from the Cuff W key store. And uh, it is, as a result, one of my absolute favorite stores. And um, I get customs from them. I get, you know, just stuff out of their catalog. Uh, and I find I like the style of their art as well. The, the art that they choose um, for their catalog is, uh, it's, it's like my colors. They're beautiful. They're, um, it's visually stunning so there you go uh, that's my unboxing review of the abstract goddess mosaic diamond painting it's a 50 by 50 square and I got it from the Cuff W key official store on Aliexpress now the information about um, what I paid for it and all of that stuff I will give you right now uh, so it, as I said, I ordered it on November 11th. It was shipped on November 12th, and I received it on November 28th. The regular price for this is $21.92 Canadian. So I don't know, about $15, maybe $16, $15 American. And uh, with discounts, I got it for $18.83 Canadian. So I thought, you know, for this, it's going to take me probably a week to do. Um, that's pretty cheap entertainment. So, um, so I, I, I think Cup W Key gives great value for money. And they're very good with their drills. Uh, they always send enough. I think in all of the Cuff W Key di uh, diamond paintings that I've ordered, and I've probably ordered, I don't know, 15 or 20 of them, I think there might have been one that had a color missing. Uh, usually they send extras. I've noticed that during this 11-11 sale they have not been sending too many extras. You might get one maybe two bags where before I would sometimes get an extra 20 bags of drills in uh, a diamond painting kit. Sometimes more than 20 bags. I think one time for a 60 by 80 or a 60 by 90 they sent me an extra 30 bags of drills um, which, you know, like that's crazy. Anyway, um, I just wanted to say thank you for watching this video 
and I hope that you will come back and watch videos with me again. I want to thank all of my patrons and all of my viewers and subscribers. Thank you for coming and visiting with me. I hope you come back again soon. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.